everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. Okay, I've kept it in long enough. Yes, my earrings are charcuterie boards. Ah! Or sorry, excuse me, charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Honestly, have you ever seen anything cuter? Okay, now that I have that off my chest. So in 2023, I did a video where I reviewed brands that wanted to sponsor me, and I thought it was so much fun. And I mean, it's kind of a win-win. I review the product, the brand doesn't have to pay for it, and you get the full scoop. Every single day, my business email gets lots of different emails from different brands inquiring about an opportunity to do a sponsorship together. And I've narrowed down a few that I'm honestly a little bit curious about. Some of them, I think, think might not be good, it might be a scam. So we'll see about that. And other ones have honestly just piqued my interest. So let's get into it. To the business email we go. The first brand we're gonna dive into is Bedazzled Smiles with a Z. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Based on your content on YouTube, I thought you'd be a good fit for reviewing Bedazzled Smiles Temporary DIY Tooth Gems, which I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't somewhat intrigued by tooth gems. Here is their website. We've got some major deals going on right now. Usually $28 for $5. I'm just gonna look at the Temporary Tooth Gem DIY Kit. This comes with six assorted Swarovski crystals. I mean, that looks like nail glue. I would never normally normally glue anything to my teeth. I actually think this is a bad idea if I'm being honest, but for you, anything. My mom is going to kill me. This is so funny because I'm an adult and I can do what I want, but that doesn't mean that my mom isn't going to be upset. <laughs> I'm just being honest. First things first, I will admit that when I see people with jewels on their teeth, I think it's cool. I think anything sparkly is fun, you know? So why not sparkle up your teeth? But I honestly have heard some of these tooth gem kits are not super safe. Either way, we're gonna do it. So this is what came in the package. This looks fresh out of 2006. And then there's also these two gems in here. This is so, so small. I mean, it makes sense. It's going on your teeth. Can you imagine it? So in this package, we have a little, a little dabbing tool, a piece of paper. We've got the glue. Causes skin irritation and causes serious eye irritation. Avoid contact with eyes, mouth, and skin. But I'm putting it in my mouth. Like every good modern day consumer, I am just going to ignore the fact that it said that and I'm just gonna move forward. How long does this last for? Am I in it for life? Oh yeah. It's now or never, people. I got the adhesive on it. <laughs> okay, I need to dry. I gotta rock out. Two seconds later. Oh my gosh, it's honestly already drying, you guys. <gasps> Oh my God, it's on there. All right, there it is. Oh my gosh, it feels horrible. Oh no, I can feel it so much. Should we do another? I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna dull down and put it in the front. I feel like it's making my teeth look yellower because the gems are so white. <laughs> awesome. I'm honestly shocked with how much something so small can change everything. I don't even feel like myself right now. I'm kind of curious to see how quickly my mom notices, so I'm gonna get her in here. Why am I scared? <laughs> nice. Thank you. <gasps> hey! Oh my! Oh what? <laughs> Wow, I didn't know you went to the dentist. I didn't. <laughs> I actually did it myself. Yeah. I've never seen people be able to put those on themselves. People go to the dentist for that? Oh yeah, people actually get a little divot like drilled into their tooth and then they make them flat with their tooth. It's a commitment. Like they embed them in their teeth. They embed them in. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna be okay? Cause as soon as I saw that, now my stomach hurts. Oh no. <laughs> like I'm always a little worried to put bonding on your enamel. We'll see if they come off very quickly, I'll be kind of glad and relieved at the same time just because I wonder, I want them off now. What glue did you use? <laughs> it's in here. Oh, it's in there. Okay, well maybe it's safe then. But it looks like crazy glue. And it says avoid contact with eyes, mouth, and skin. <gasps> I know, cause like I ate it. Oh no, I ate it. You ate it up. Do you want one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at you. You baddie. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> it feels bigger than 
than it is. It does feel huge, mm -hmm. doesn't it? My review is contradictory. I wanted this, but I don't necessarily agree that, about recommending this for everyone. Oh, so a... you're jumping shit. <laughs> okay. I do like it. But we're both glammed out. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, this is a really good test, you guys, because I'm eating very red chili. So if these are gonna stain, it'll be from this chili. Kind of hurting, like my tooth is very sensitive. And so I was pressure testing how much it could like withstand and it popped off. I pulled it off. Did you? It was hurting my tooth. I got mine off. Why would you do that? Wait, how easy is it? Wait. Oh, wait, they come off so easily. <laughs>Okay, this was an email I got that I was really curious about because I do like gel nail polish. So this is called Beetles Gel Nail Polish. This honestly looked pretty good. I've never tried Beetles Gel Polish. That was really the only thing holding me back. Before I work with the brand, I like to use their product for at least a couple months. Here's their website. So while I'm shopping this, it's actually Black Friday. Okay, so it's a bunch of different gel nail polishes. Here's a gel kit. Ooh, these are gel pointy pens. Oh, a poly gel. Don't tempt me because I've always wanted to try to do poly gel nails. Should we? If you don't know what poly gel is, you kind of just paint it in and then stamp it and cure it. And then it's like a full on manicure. Also, let's see, is this code actually gonna work? <laughs> oh my gosh, it literally went on sale. Okay, the Beatles, be bold, be you, be Beatles is here. It's honestly really interesting to me to name a company Beatles. So last we spoke, I couldn't get this shipped to Canada, but I ended up finding a different set on Amazon and it could ship to me. So I just got that one. There's lots of stuff here. Okay, prep natural nails, apply base coat and cure. Mix the extension gel and the nail powder in a dish. Put it on the inside of the door and give a small amount of solution of crushed half a solution of extension gel. Do get the gel smooth and press it on your remove the two. Uh, okay. We have all of these different nail extension gels. You know what? I'll swatch them all actually. Okay. First color. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. Okay. Another pink. Okay, those are all our color options. So now I'm gonna remove my nail polish and I'm gonna cut my nails down so that they're really short and I'll be back. All right, my hands are prepped. Apply base coat and cure. I can do that. I'm excited. I never really spend time doing my nails, but I really enjoy it. I think it's so fun. I'm having a great time. This is the only thing, the sitting and waiting not as much of a fan. One eternity later. Okay, we need our dual forms now. So I'm gonna go for pointy. And you can see there's these little markings that show how full it should be. So I'm gonna try to stick to that. Okay, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that. This is the slip solution. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze this in. I have no idea how much I'm supposed to use. See, like the instructions are a little too vague. Like how thin am I supposed to make this? Here's what we're dealing with. Like, is that good? Should I do it? I'm gonna stick that on. Now I'm going to go like this and cure it. Here's what we're dealing with. The top looks okay, but when you flip it over, it's all like glued back. Oh no. Let's try and get this dual form off. Oh my God, wait, wait. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like we're not gonna talk about what's happening underneath here, but oh my gosh, look at that. That's not that bad. It's like really thick from the bottom. That's kind of the biggest problem. And it's still tacky. I'm hoping the top coat gets rid of that. But that's actually like not bad. I love that my camera cannot focus on it. Hello. This is making me want to try many different colors. Should I do like rainbow? Screw it, why would we do the same colors? Let's go crazy. This one seems to be needing a lot more. I guess it makes sense because it's 
bigger, but let's just try it. I'm curing it from the bottom too. I'm like flipping my hand so that that pooling doesn't happen super quickly. All right, we'll see how this goes. <gasps> oh my, oh, that's so cool. Okay, this one's kind of like, this one needs work. I have to file off like half the nail. <laughs> Oh, it says to trim and shape them at the end. See, I'm making them quite thin, which might come back to bite me, you know, when my nail just flies off when I open my car door, but we'll see, right? That's why I'm testing it. Oh my gosh, they're looking so good. Okay, I'm not gonna shape it or anything. I'm just going to wait, I'm gonna stick them all on and then I'll shape them. So I'm just going to do it and then come back for the shaping. I'm not gonna lie, this hand is far worse than this one. So I got some cleanup to do. Here's what they're looking like right now. I did the top coat off camera as well, so they're not sticky anymore, so that's nice. I'm loving the colorfulness of them, but I definitely have some shaping to do. Give me a minute. Yeah, so this took two hours. Granted, this is my first time doing a poly gel, but here is how it turned out. I honestly think they turned out so good. Definitely the best set I've ever done on myself. Honestly, I'm like really surprised with how user-friendly this was. If you want to do nails at home, I feel like this is a good set to try. But yeah, I feel like the color options were really fun. I think they look really good. I think it's pretty fun. I will update you if one of them just snaps off in the next couple weeks. Okay, I'm here for the update. I recently did something to my hair, so I'm not going to show it. So these nails lasted for like five days and they looked amazing. I got so many compliments on them. They were really nice. But then randomly one day I went to pull up my pants and like three snapped off. Also, I was reading some of the reviews for this and people were definitely warning people about getting the product all over your hands because you can develop allergies. So just be so careful of that. But I guess if you get like nail product around your nail too frequently, your skin can become allergic to it which is scary. Also, if there's ever an opportunity to become allergic to something, I will become allergic to it. We know this, so I should be careful too. Next, we have the Chrysma Shop, a leading manufacturer of professional ear care products. This was basically a ear cleaner and it seemed pretty intense. So here it is. Excellent product, good design, easy to use, super convenient daily ear maintenance. Now, I'm not an ear expert, but it seems extreme to use this every day. Doesn't it kind of just shoot water up your ear? I mean, I'm curious to see what comes out of my ear. Are you guys ready to get your ears cleaned? So here it is. This is the powered ear wax remover. I am kind of afraid. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. In the meantime, I will read the instructions. You know I have sensitive ears. I know. And I didn't mention this, but if I go outside without a toque on, the wind is blowing, I'll get an ear infection. I'm that kid. <gasps> it's got the water in it. And then I go this way. And then the, you're gonna shoot this in your ear and this thing is gonna catch it. Okay, I just wanna see how hard it's gonna shoot. Is it gonna go now? <laughs> Are we going now? I feel like it should be. Maybe I shouldn't have it near this electrical cord. Is that hose like not sucking water? That's what I was checking, but it should be sucking. It's working. It just had to run a while maybe. Alas, we figured it out. Never say ever. Never say ever, ever. <laughs> Never ever say ever. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. I grow tired okay, of waiting. Okay, head to this way and then, yeah, to tuck it straight up. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ears clean. <laughs> if that's the lowest, what's the highest? Oh my gosh. Okay, you're just gonna go on the lowest. Okay. So strange. I feel like we're literally the most traumatic people ever. Because if you actually got like earwax in there, yeah, like that would be really. I don't know. Like Dad is prone to like having to get his ears. I wonder fresh. if he like, would use this. 
Next product, we have this GoGo -Go Lint, a cutting edge solution for keeping your wardrobe in pristine condition by effortlessly removing lint. Target audience right here. I thrift a lot of sweaters that they would look as good as new if I could just get some of that lint off. So this really piqued my interest. $55, it's on sale. It looks like one of those lint thingies from the 70s, 80s. This looks like an updated version of it and it's green. Okay, look at that. Pretty heavy duty. And then I think it comes with some extra things for in the little fan area. <gasps> Ooh, turn off the lint remover, pull down and remove the lint bin. Okay, I'm excited for the lint bin. So here's what it's looking like. Pretty quality piece. Ooh. Piece. <laughs> Like how long until all my cameras break? Not long, I'm guessing. Okay, thrifted this baby this year and I wore it for three days this Christmas. And it's got lots of little flyaways and issues going on. Lots of little fluffs and little balls. This is a perfect candidate sweater. So we see our problems, we're gonna get them. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it's very serious. Like, those are the blades. <gasps> if your fingers are small enough to get in here, do not do it. But okay, let's see. Whoa. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's doing an amazing job. This is looking fantastic on the front. It literally is shooting out some sort of scent of green apple. Seriously, is that just me? I am confused. Let's get some of this lint. Do you see that? Look at that. It's like as good as new. Seriously, look at that. Not a ball in sight. Let's see how much lint we collected. Oh, 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 look at all that lint that came off one sweater. See up in there, it's a bunch of lint. I'm kind of shocked they didn't give me something to clean it with. Just finished filming and I realized they did actually give me something to clean it. A little brush. They thought of everything. Oh yeah, that's the mother load. I think this is a fantastic tool. It did a really amazing job. You can just recharge it and make your sweaters look as good as new. I really liked this. Another product I probably should have taken the sponsorship from. <laughs> Okay, this email, this was from Flower Nose. They are a beauty wonderland for anyone with a girlish heart. That's not me paraphrasing, that was what they wrote. So this is what this makeup brand looks like. It is so beautiful. I feel like I've seen a bit of this online, maybe circling around on TikTok. So there's lots of really pretty stuff. We've got palettes, lip glosses, cloud lip things, eyeshadow, embossed blushes. It's so pretty. I'm I'm not gonna lie, this design is everything I've ever wanted from makeup. I would say it's more on the expensive side, like $30 for lip gloss. It's so beautiful. Okay, I have my fake pearls on, which can only mean one thing, the beautiful flower nose cosmetics got here. And it came with free stickers, so you got me. And I thrifted the perfect shirt for this, look. Look how cute this is. Isn't it nice? And I even painted my nails. Holo Taco. And we have a new lens on the camera. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I got this during Black Friday and it was really expensive. So I hope the quality looks good. Okay, so we have the embossed blush. This apparently was super popping on TikTok. So, oh my God. <gasps> I almost dropped it. Oh my goodness. Here is what we are dealing with. It's got these strawberries and all of this rose gold details. And then through here, it's almost like an opalescent shift thing in there. And it's a magnet and oh my gosh, the beauty does not stop. Look at that. I love strawberries on anything, so this is beautiful. And also, this color is one I wouldn't usually go for. Usually I go for more of a poppy bright pink, so this will be different for me. Let's try it. 
Ooh, that's a pretty color. For me, the color looks like a very natural flushed cheek color. Oh yeah, it's actually quite pigmented, honestly. I like it. <gasps> Pretty. What is this? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, oh, I should have opened this sooner. This is the mirror that I got. Oh, it's smaller than I anticipated. I thought this was gonna be like quite big. Ooh, very luxurious. Again, the strawberry theme. I love it. By the way, this might look metal, but it actually is plastic. So it's not as heavy and weighted as I was expecting it to be. And it's actually smaller than I was expecting as well, but it's still very cute. Oh, this was a freebie actually. This travel makeup mirror. There was quite a few freebies. Whoa, it's almost like a clamshell. Just opens up like that and then your mirror. This is really nice too. I almost feel like I didn't need this one because this one's good enough, but the more the mirror. <laughs> Next we have in this beautiful, beautiful colored box, eyeshadow time. <gasps> the woman was too stunned to speak. That is so beautiful. There is so much to unpack here. Okay, so obviously this sky shift of purpley blue, so pretty. But then right here, there is like a mermaid. Wow, this is a showstopper. <gasps> so soft, again. <laughs> I'm not being paid for this review. Okay, I'm gonna start by putting this one all over my eye. I'm just gonna use my finger. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, they're so soft. Nice. Then I'll take this brown color, just add a little bit of like smoked out eyeliner. I will say one thing, the sparkles are all over my face. I'm not mad about it, but it's a fact. Look away, I'm licking my brush. Alrighty, there's my eye look. Okay, I will say there's probably nothing innovative or new about these shadows outside of the packaging, of course, that's the showstopper. But I am pleasantly surprised. They're pigmented, they're soft, they're blendable, but they weren't anything insane, if that makes sense. On my lips right now, I just have the lip liner because the product I got is more like a lip Lip, liquid lipstick. I was like, what is this called? I seriously love all the colors they play with. I swear it's all of my favorite colors. I, I can't, I literally cannot. This is beautiful. I would be so thrilled to display this bottle on my makeup desk. So nice. Okay, let's see what color I picked. Ooh, oh my gosh. <gasps> It smells like the most artificial strawberry ever in the best way. It goes on so nice. This is very unique, honestly. What is this? Soy milk cheese. It literally says soy milk cheese on here. Soy milk cheese. I honestly really liked everything and I think it's so pretty. If I had to pick one piece that really wowed me, it'd be the lips. All right then, next products. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have Bloom Lab. We are excited to introduce our brand new and groundbreaking hair device called Flow. Flow is a disruptive hair care device that redefines and simplifies your hair routine. It combines four cutting edge technologies backed by science and used in modern professional treatments. So here is the Bloom brush. So basically it's a hairbrush that will disperse serum into your hair. Now I know what you're wondering, couldn't you just disperse it with your hands? Yes. It revive your hair with red light therapy. Apparently it uses microcurrent, e-sonic massage, and thermal therapy. I'm excited. I have a very problematic scalp. I have psoriasis, so this will either really help or it will really hinder it. Oh my gosh! $427 regularly, it's 213. Okay, I'm gonna do this one that comes with the oil. Just trying it out. Okay, thank you so much for throwing that to me. Okay, so I have the Bloom Flow device. Now this was not cheap, not cheap at all. So we have the Nymphia. It's for nourishing and regenerating. And then we have Wildflower, which is for anti-frizz. And then this is the device. Ooh, whoa, cool. If there's any scabbing, cracking, or swelling, if you have scalp problems, hereditary dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis, eczema, and other skin issues. That's kind of weird that it says, do not use this 
if you have those things. Because in the ads, it was saying if you have dandruff, you can use this and it will help it. And you guys probably know, I have psoriasis on my scalp. So I feel like based on this, I shouldn't be using it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> well, that's why we're reviewing it to see if it's worth it. Okay, I wanna get this out of here. We're gonna fill this. First, I wanna see how it smells. Okay, it smells like a Ceylon. I'm just gonna take a little bit in here. That'll be enough, I feel like. Put that back in there. We're gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. Oh my God, I'm scared. Don't microcurrent me. And I'm just gonna start massaging it around. So far, it's not hurting. It's not moving. I'm not feeling any strong microcurrent shocks, which I'm glad about. It honestly just feels like these metal prongs are cold and then the red light is kind of warm. It is relaxing though. I've read before that when you're brushing your hair, you're supposed to try to get the bristles all the way to your scalp because that promotes hair growth. This definitely feels like it's buying into that. Ow, I just, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have like old school Justin Bieber hair. <laughs> I just like felt something and it kind of hurt. Oh, and that's it. How long was I doing that for? Maybe like four or five minutes? Yeah, all of the serum is out of here. Interesting. Hmm. These types of products are sometimes the hardest to review, but I think my biggest curiosity of this was if it was gonna hurt. This cartridge releasing serum is nice, and I think the benefits of the red light could be good over time as well. The machine itself is so sleek. The whole thing is quite expensive and extra. I just don't feel like everyone will need one of these. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I need it, but now that I have it, I'll keep using it and I'll update you if anything crazy happens. I was just looking at some of these reviews and this person said, I found my self-confidence with a fuller mane. You can really see the difference of the hair before and after. And same with this picture. Is that real? See, and I know sites can fake reviews, so you have to be careful about what you're reading, but I wouldn't be shocked if this product worked for some people. If you are curious to see a full length trial of this, I will use it for like a few months and we can take before and after photos and I can update you guys if you're interested. Let me know. All things considered, I am pretty impressed with all of these products. Do I think I would take a sponsorship from any of them now that I've tried them out? Possibly, not all of them. You know, just because I don't take a sponsorship from a brand doesn't mean it isn't a really good brand or a really good product or a really good idea. I honestly love reviewing products. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you would like to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.